Hello and welcome to Celebrity News on SomaGirls.tv. I'm Karen Morgan and today is October 17, 2007. Paris Hilton and Kid Rock were spotted partying in Toronto together over the weekend, setting off rumors that they might be a new item. Kid's ex, Pamela Anderson, has just married Paris's ex, Rick Solomon. So are Kid and Paris going to bring it full circle? A rep for Hilton says, no way, Paris was just there for the concert. Good, because that is so last year's Charlie Sheen and Denise Richards. Harry Potter star Emma Watson wants to follow in the footsteps of her co-star Daniel Radcliffe by performing on the London stage. The 17-year-old actress hopes to land a part in a popular West End production, but doesn't expect her dream to be realized anytime soon. She says, I'm not ready for it right now, but I would love to do it. We'd love to see you up there, Emma. Go for it. Former Jackass stuntman Steve O is the latest star to bear all in a People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals ad. The tattooed prankster peeled off for the latest I'd Rather Go Naked Than Wear Fur campaign, which he will unveil in person at Los Angeles Fashion Week later this week. The stuntman says, abuse yourself all you want, just leave the animals out of it. Well, you certainly got our attention, Steve, and for once, we're not cringing. Britney Spears had another fender bender as she arrived at a Hollywood party this weekend. The clumsy singer, who still faces a hit-and-run charge for leaving the scene of another crash in August, reversed into a paparazzi's car while trying to park on Saturday night. Learning from her last accident, Spears tracked down the owner, stating, I'm stupid, I'm sorry, I'm a horrible driver. No kidding. Can she not afford a driver or something? Why is she driving at all? I just don't get it. Rapper 50 Cent has been honored with his own day in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Mayor John Fabrizi bestowed the Indie Club hitmaker with the key to the city as the generous star donated $25,000 to a local community center. The rap star is currently shooting new movie Righteous Kill with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in Bridgeport. Way to give back, Fiddy. Rihanna and Josh Hartnett are playing down rumors that they're dating after photos of the R&B star caressing the actor's cheek appeared over the weekend. The umbrella songstress appears to be staring lovingly at the Pearl Harbor star in the snapshot, but sources insist the pair was just enjoying a night out with friends at a club after meeting for the first time earlier in the day. Well, I wouldn't blame either of them. Cute and cute. Dance star Moby has hit out at Madonna's obscene $120 million deal with concert promotion firm Live Nation, insisting too much money is being thrown at artists. Moby writes on his blog, I'm not criticizing Madonna, but I sometimes wonder what people do with their excess money, and when do they have enough? I agree, she is called a material girl for a reason. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan will return to rehab in Utah as soon as she has finished her new movie, Dare to Love Me, so she can finish her treatment for alcohol addiction. The actress, 21, checked out of the CERT clinic earlier this month so she could begin work on the musical. Lohan tells OK Magazine, I plan on returning to Utah so I can stay focused and avoid other distractions. And now it's time for The Things They Say. Which actress daydreams about being a Bond girl saying, I'd like to be a very glamorous spy, one who has affairs with Daniel Craig? Was it beguiling beauty Jennifer Aniston, sultry vixen Uma Thurman, or fierce spider Jennifer Garner? Go to the somagirls.tv blog to find out the answer and subscribe to us to stay on top of the latest celebrity gossip. Thank you for watching somagirls.tv. I'm Karen. Have a beautiful day.